My name is Tom Silver. I'm a fourth year PhD student at MIT CCL, and I work on learning for decision making, especially with applications to robotics. Uh, I'm advised by Leslie Cabling in the Learning and Intelligence Systems group, and also by Josh Tenenbaum in the Computational Cognitive Science group. In the project that I've been focusing on recently, we've been really interested in learning state abstractions or concepts um, from very limited input from a human. So concepts might be like uh, I'm holding an object or one object is on another object. So these kind of very basic uh, concepts that we as, as people understand and use when we're planning. It was really, really hard to figure out the right way to set up the objective for these concepts that we want to learn. Like what is it that we actually want from these concepts? And for a long time we were thinking that the right objective is these concepts should allow us to make predictions about the future. But then we realized that being able to make predictions is not necessarily the same as being able to plan and like make deliberate about different possible action sequences. And so once we sort of understood the difference, then we shifted our objective to actually like let's learn concepts that enable fast planning. And in doing so, we were able to learn concepts that like actually optimize for the thing we care about and uh, learn all these interesting concepts. So in a lot of robotic planning methods, like the ones that we use in our group, it assumes that a human programmer will write down these helpful high-level concepts like on, holding, and so on. And they'll have to not only write those words, but they'll have to write down a program that takes in like a low-level scene representation and spits out what is on what and what the object is, what the robot is holding and, and things like that. So what our project contributes is removing that burden on the human programmer and allowing the robot to learn these things for itself. Um, and one day we hope that a non-expert human would be able to just demonstrate things that it would like the robot to be able to do. And from those demonstrations, the robot would be able to figure out these concepts for itself that are useful for doing the demonstrations and also generalizing to related tasks. There's always the question of, are we trying to faithfully model how humans approach problems? Or are we just trying to solve problems, like set up an objective and try to optimize for the objective? Um, so I think my perspective is more the latter. I'm, I like to set up these objectives and try to optimize for them using whatever tools are available. Um, and taking inspiration from cognitive science is super useful because humans are able to really solve these problems effectively so we know that it's possible and that we can take inspiration from how humans do that. But I, I don't want to limit myself necessarily to how humans do it. And so I kind of look at the full tool kit available to us and try to draw on everything. It would certainly be convenient for anyone to have a robot in their home that's capable of doing these chores. but I'm especially motivated by helping people with limited mobility or people who are older and want to remain independent in their homes but have trouble on their own taking care of certain chores or activities. Um, so I really would like to have robots help those people and allow them to remain independent.